guys, Miss Thomas here. Earlier in the week, we were reading about the stars. And our essential question is, what can we see in the sky? So the story that we dove into and we were finding text features and all this details in the fiction story was about the stars in the sky and the constellations. Can you remember what a constellation is? Constellation, like the Big Dipper, is a group of stars that create a picture up there in the sky. So we're going to continue talking about things up in the sky, and we're going to actually continue to talk about stars today. We're going to start a new story. This story is a short chapter book, and it's called Mr. Putter, Mr. Putter and Tabby See the Stars. So I'm going to start reading it to you today. We're not going to finish it today, but we're going to create a flow map again, just like you practiced earlier in the week, where we're going to start talking about the structure of the story. How does it start? Then what happens? What comes after that? What kind of struggles do the characters have? And then ultimately, how does the story end? How did that story start and progress and change and then how did it resolve? How did it finish at the end? So I like you just to listen today. I want you to hear the words. I'm going to read the first part of this story to you and listen how it answers our essential question, which is what can we see in the sky? All right. So we already have some clues of what we think the story could be about. And we can just use the clue, the title. That's the only thing we know so far. So Mr. Putter and Tabby see the stars. Mr. Putter and Tabby. Who do we think those two people are? And what do we think they're going to go do? What adventure are they going to go on together? All right, listen up. Let's try to answer our essential question. Okay, and then let's listen for those details. What happens first in the story that tells us about the structure? And then what comes next? What happens next? All righty. So chapter one, its title is called Logs. Logs. Mr. Putter and his fine cat Toby, or Tabby, I'm sorry, Tabby loved to sleep. So we already got one question, right? Our clue, Mr. Putter, Tabby is a kind of a cat. They could sleep anywhere. They slept in chairs, in swings, in cars, in tubs, and sometimes in the laundry room. <laughs> that's so silly. Mr. Putter and Tabby also slept in a bed. So that's like most of us, right? We go to sleep at night and we go to a bed. Of course, most of the time, sleeping in a bed was just fine. Mr. Putter plumped his pillow, Tabby squished into hers, and they slept like logs. What does that mean if somebody sleeps like a log? Picture a tree that poof, and fell over and it's just hanging out. It's just lying there on the ground still as can be. If someone's sleeping like a log, that just means they're still and not moving, not tossing and turning. They're sleeping like a log. All righty. But one night, so normally they sleep like logs. They're sound asleep. But one night, one of those two logs, either Mr. Putter or Tabby, they couldn't sleep. Let's find out. Make a prediction. Why do you think they can't sleep? Hmm. Let's find the answer to that. Chapter two. Grumble is the title. Grumble. Mr. Putter was the log who could not sleep. He could not sleep because he had eaten too many pineapple jelly rolls at, at Mrs. T-Berry's uh, house. So a jelly roll, think of kind of like a donut, like a little donut maybe with a yummy sweet filling. So he ate too many. Okay, so Miss T-Berry Mr., was Mr. Putter's good friend and neighbor, and she liked to feed him. She liked to feed everybody, but most of all, she liked to feed Mr. Putter. Alrighty, so what happened first in this story? What happened first? So we know that Tabby is a cat and Mr. Putter and Tabby are the best of sleepers. So this night, they couldn't sleep. Why was that? Why couldn't Mr. T Mr. Putter sleep? He had a tummy ache. Let's write that. That's the first thing that happens in this story.
Okay, so his stomach hurts and it wakes him up and he can't sleep. Let's keep reading and see what happens next in the story. Okay, so scroll down, continue to read a little bit, and we'll talk some more about what happens next in the story. Send me a picture of your flowchart in Dojo. I look forward to reading it. See you later. Bye.